URL list. So when you create a job in this URL list, when you try to transfer the file from a CSV file, and when you try to put the URL of that CSV file, okay. So it's asking you. Uh, so there is a particular format you need to. Uh, uh, in, so you need to prepare your CSV file URL in that particular format. Not the URL, the TSB file. You need to prepare in that particular format. Then only it will allow you to transfer the file. Okay. So let's go to my bucket. So what I'll do, I'll uh, so I I'll, I'll put one file inside my bucket. I'll put a TSB file. Okay, TSB or any text file. I'll put. So once I put inside the bucket. Okay, so I can have a I can have one URL, and that URL has to be a public URL. Okay, that URL will be public URL. So once I put uh, put a TSV file inside the bucket, I can get a public URL. I can use this public URL, okay, to transfer this file, to transfer this file, or to transfer this object to another bucket. Okay. And this all this process, I'll do using the data transfer job. Okay, so that I can transfer from URL list. This URL list will have this TXT file to a bucket. Okay, so this so you is need the a bucket. Is a bucket has some URL, and you are uh, uh, putting some file in that URL, and you are you are giving some access using uh, data transfer. You mean to say? Yeah, so it's not mandatory that like you will have to put the file in a URL. You can use any URL as well, but that URL, uh, that, that URL needs to be in in certain format, okay? So, but you can use any URL. It's not like you you need to use only the Google Cloud URL. You can use any URL, which is having that TSV file, okay? So if I go to my uh, folder. So this is the file which I am going to upload. Okay, you can look at the structure of the file. This is not this is having some test data, so don't worry about the data. Some random data I have uh, taken from the Google. Okay, and uh, on the top, you need to uh, so the first row of the file should have this information: TSB HTTP data 1.0. Because while when you will uh, transfer the file from 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 URL to another bucket so uh, the, the Google data transfer service will look for this uh, this row okay the first row so your URL should have this information this the first row data and after that all these data you can keep so these are just random data I have I have uh, taken from the Google okay so let's upload this file in a bucket. If I go here, uh, let's create a bucket quickly. Uh, URL demo in a bucket. Let's create the bucket. And I can upload the file. So here I have uploaded my file. If I go here, I can get this URL. I can use this URL. I can also access the content of that file. Okay. And uh, let me grant the public access. Now it's not public. So in order to grant the public access to this bucket, go to edit access. Sorry, not edit access. Go to permission. Okay. And here you can write all users. 
select the role. Now, um, so I want to give the access to my cloud storage. So I'll go to cloud storage. I'll give admin access. Okay, save it. It will ask you that you are going to make this resource public. Okay, just go for it. Allow public access. Now my bucket is having public access. It's public to internet. Even if I share the URL link with you, you will be able to also uh, see the content of the file, content of this text file. Okay, because now the bucket is public. So let me get the URL of it. Get the URL. This is the public URL which I copied. I'll go here. I'll copy. Uh, I'll paste the public URL. Okay. Then I'll go to next. Here I need to put the destination bucket where I want to uh, put that txt file. So go to browse. I just have one bucket. Uh, let me create another bucket. Create a new bucket. So here I can uh, create a new bucket. Let's say the bucket name is destination txt. My bucket. Continue. Uh, let's create a region bucket. Create it. So you can see here, if you don't have any bucket, here also you have the option to create a new bucket. Select. So this is my destination bucket. Let's go to next step. And these are the default options which you have already seen. You are familiar with all these options. And let's go to next step. Let's run the job. You see, go to this job. You can see the status of the job. So the, right now this job is running. You can see it, it is in progress. Let's wait for some time till the completion of the job. Okay, the job is in progress. Why it is not showing any data transfer? Uh, job in progress. It didn't transfer any data. Name my the roles are URL should be private, right? Public, public. Yeah, it should be public. It's public now. can see the job uh, ran successfully uh, didn't paste the file okay wait here you are in this enter your how to format this file you can go to this, you can check this document. Uh, your list value is used here. So you can see here, you need to insert this format uh, specifier on the first line. Then only it will accept, otherwise uh, it will not allow you to send the file. Okay, okay, okay. 
so what you need to do is uh, like this so I, you have to create another bucket uh, no you can do that okay let's try that already having public access so for you to system things show which is in progress okay now it's written the file okay now it has been transformed okay so you need to uh let me see in the bucket in the in my destination bucket with the file is available or not okay now you can see the file is available so this is the file which I just transferred. If I go here, if I, I can see the content of the file. Okay. So the format is uh, I was wrong. Uh, so the format is you need to put in this format. Okay. So let's say you have a TSP file. So you need to put it in this format. The format should be uh, in the first first line, as you can see. So uh, you, you need to write that TSB HTTP. That is the file formatter. So this is the this is must. You have to write it on the first line. Second line, the HTTP file URL link, okay, which has the actual content which has the actual content okay so this you can upload into google cloud okay google cloud bucket and then you can use that url okay so not only google cloud you can use you can put it in any cloud but that url has to be publicly accessed okay so that url should have public access okay so this is the format the first row will be have that data formatted if you follow this google cloud document here you can see the insert the format specified on the first line and then the http url link okay which is having that actual content so this this is the format you need to follow then only you will be able to transfer it using the url uh, using uh, 
like you, you can transfer it from the URL list using data transfer job. Okay, is that clear? Yes, for it. Actually, uh, in real time, actually, they cannot uh, give the access as a public, right? So, how will we do? We need to do any changes uh, if the uh, if the URL is private. So, uh, if that URL, if, uh, the URL is present in, uh, yeah, if the URL is present, you need to, uh, if it is not public, then you need to change, you need to use some service account or you need to manage the storage, okay, you need to manage the access, okay, at least uh, uh, if you, if you see here you are trans, uh, uh, accessing a file from a uh, what you call from 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 some website right so this is this is for public access only you can see this is uh, this is for publicly accessible object if it is not publicly accessible you you cannot use this one if you go here it's it's uh, if you go to this next step from here if you go to next step so it's clearly mentioned like you it, the, the uh, file or the url should have it should be publicly accessible Okay, if it is not publicly accessible, you cannot read it, right? You cannot read it from in Google Cloud Services. So the URL which you are using that needs to be have public access. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is how you can uh, uh, transfer a job, a transfer file from a URL from uh, HTTP URL and to you can store it in Google Cloud Storage. Okay. 